Damage assessment continues. More stories are pouring in of heroic efforts, families running for their lives, and of those who've lost everything. Ryan Hightower is one of those. She and her family live just outside of Fritch and recalls the day of the fires. Her niece just happened to open the front door to the sheriff running toward their house, yelling for them to run and leave immediately as the black smoke and flames were quickly approaching. Ryan said she had enough time to grab her niece, nephews, and her son. We had to turn on our flashers and our headlights because you couldn't make head or tails of the road. That's how bad the smoke was and how thick it was. And um, we took off what we was hoping was the road, and I just kind of followed his light. And in my rear view, all I could see was the wind and the black just coming in like a ball. Ryan's home was reduced to ash in that fire, a devastating loss for her family who just moved here at the end of January. Now starting over, piecing together the what's next, counting her blessings and thankful for their lives. It's scary not knowing what the next step is going to be because we've never been through anything like this. My niece is, I call my angel because had she not answered the door or got up for that in, gut instinct that she thought she heard, if she had not got up to answer that door, uh, we wouldn't be having this interview today. And a GoFundMe has been set up for Ryan's part. family. You can find a link to donate on our website. Ryan says she loves her community and plans to use donations to also help others who've lost their homes. The